Hello my friends and welcome! Some of you may remember my old spot welder video. It still works fine, but the box doesn't look very good. It gives it a cheap look because it was cheap. Some of you suggested that I should replace the ugly plastic case. So today I will show you a nice upgrade for my spot welder. It has a small and compact case and now it's actually portable. I used this spot welder a lot and it still has a good battery, but it needs an upgrade. I will be using mostly the same components, so I have to take everything apart carefully. The battery is stubborn because I used a lot of sticky foam tape, but it cooperates in the end. This is the smallest plastic case that can fit all the components. The battery is the biggest part. On the bottom panel I will remove all the plastic standoffs using my useless and underpowered rotary tool. And this small milling bit will be used to make the surface smoother. This is the back panel, it needs two holes for the charging plugs. The old balance leads on the BMS board are too long. The plastic enclosure is smaller now, so I will shorten the leads and solder them to the same BMS board. And we have two sets of balance leads. This 3S charging module is a constant core and constant voltage boost converter with a predefined voltage and current and a USB Type-C input. I tested one of these in a previous video and it can charge a 3S battery pack with maximum 450 milliamps using a simple USB charger. For more info about this charging module you can check out this video. Using only this boost converter is not enough to charge the battery, but it will provide about 13 volts to the BMS, so I will place it around here. I connected the output of the converter to the input of the BMS board. This battery tester will show the voltage of each cell and the total voltage of the battery pack. Let's check the battery. I haven't used the old spot welder for a while, so the lithium polymer cells are not perfectly balanced at the moment. And now I can charge the battery using a simple USB charger with minimum 2 amps. The red LED on the converter indicates that the battery is charging in constant current mode. I can also use the old battery voltage indicator to check if the cells are balanced. That's why I added the second set of balance leads. This USB Type-C extension plug will be mounted in the back of the box. And I will solder the wires to the input of the converter. But I will also use the old charging plug so I can fast charge the battery with 2 amps. These wires will be soldered directly to the BMS input. Now I can mount the components on the bottom panel. The boards will be fixed in position with sticky foam tape. The spot welding board will be mounted on the top panel, so I need to mark and drill 4 holes. I will use this chamfering bit on the holes to countersink the screws. The screws will be tightened with small standoff nuts. The old battery leads are too long, there isn't enough room in the new enclosure, so I need to shorten them. Shortening the leads will also decrease the wire resistance, which will increase the efficiency of the spot welder, but insignificantly. So I solder the leads to another XT60 connector using a lot of solder, and I also need to insulate the joints. The battery leads can be reattached now. This is the front panel, I already made the holes for the welding leads. The spot welding board can be mounted on the top panel. It will be placed on the standoffs and I will tighten it with M3 nuts. 
This is the LED from the old project, there is no need to change it. But I will use a new temporary push button and I will connect it with the old wires. I want to thank all my patrons for their support. If you want to see these videos a few days earlier and more DIY videos, please check out my Patreon page. The battery needs a small modification. I will cut a few millimeters from this insulation tape so I can reposition the wires more easily. I will fix the battery in position using sticky tape again. The battery will be charged through the balance leads. This is the extra balance connector. I will fix it on the back panel with hot glue. I will bend the LED and switch pins because they are too close to the battery. The battery will be connected to the spot welding board with the XT60 connectors. Let's check the button. Now we have a two slice sandwich. Let's slowly close the case and make sure everything fits nicely. There must be a little space between the battery and all other components. Lithium polymer batteries must be treated with respect, you don't want them to get angry. The box came with screws and pads. Yes, thank you. Now what kind of long ass screw is this? It took me a whole day to tighten these four screws. To turn on the spot welder I need to press long on the button. And then using the same button I can toggle between the five power levels. If you don't use it for 10 minutes it will turn off automatically. But if you're in a hurry just press the button for a few seconds to turn it off. The new spot welder is finished, check out the difference between the two. Let's test it, it works best with nickel strips with a thickness of 0.12 mm. I just need to press with the welding leads on the nickel strip for a second. This is pretty nice to watch and boring in the same time, so let's move on. I have two options to charge it. One is the standard 2 amps charger which will charge the battery pretty fast. And I can also charge it with a USB charger or even a power bank if needed. So it truly is portable now. The red light on the converter lights up, but what you see it's actually not the LED. Earlier I made a small hole on the side of the case near the LEDs and I covered the LEDs and the hole with transparent hot glue. So now I have a charging indicator. When the battery is charged the light turns blue. And if I want to check the cells it has a small connector in the back. So I can simply plug in a battery voltage indicator or the battery tester. You can see that after charging the battery the cells are balanced. I can also use this battery tester to balance the cells if needed. So this is my new portable spot welder. I want So this is my new portable spot welder. I wanted to make this upgrade for a long time because I use it in a lot of projects and now it looks better. If you enjoyed this video please share it, hit the like button and I'll see you soon. Bye.